Hi guys, Todd McKillops, Washington Tiny House Association Executive Director here and coming to you live from my studio in my office here. We're uh, featuring some tiny homes today and some emails and I wanted to read a Ava's email. Uh, she says, I read the Senate Bill 5383 uh, on tiny houses and I may be misunderstanding something. It seems to be allowing people the means to create tiny house communities or nonprofits and to make communities of affordable tiny homes. Does this bill also allow an individual to build a tiny house on a piece of unincorporated or corporated land that he or she has purchased? And my response back to Ava was uh, good eye and the tiny house bill did allow for uh, tiny houses to be placed in tiny home communities specifically. Uh, what it also did was it created tiny homes to be legal um, a housing product that LNI would regulate in the state of Washington. Created a pathway for uh, tiny house communities to be placed uh, with cities uh, who already wanted to do it, but didn't want to do it because they were uh, looking at liability. Uh, liability made it so that uh, they would be basically allowing people to live in RVs illegally. And so uh, our bill uh, allowed for um, them to look at it differently. So uh, that being said, 5383 does allow tiny house communities to be placed, uh, but also the secret sauce was that it allowed a tiny homes to be a legal product in the state of Washington. And uh, if you build one on your own land, if you go to LNI, and then type in tiny homes on Google, uh, you will find a link that basically says, uh, if you build it on your own land, you will have to go to your building jurisdiction and it will be costly because you will have them inspecting every way of the process. Uh, if you buy from a factory, um, a legal factory in the state of Washington, like the one right behind me, that's a beautiful home there, uh, you will basically uh, get a approved structure that you will just go and have to get a building permit for and uh, then in that case, um, it's like $900. You put it on your land, uh, building permits there, they come by and do one inspection to make sure it's just placed where you said it was gonna be placed in the site plan, and uh, then you're good to go. So if you want, feel free to reach out to me. Um, my number is 206-941-3038, and uh, the WA at legaltinyhouses.org is our email. Uh, we exist to help. Uh, we exist to make sure that whatever you do uh, with small homes under 400 square feet, we can meet with the local jurisdictions to make that happen and consult for you on your builds as well, uh, just to make sure everything's up to par and we make this happen. Coronavirus has delayed uh, the uh, planning and the city councils from adapting ordinances and different things, including the state building council's rules. So we're gonna see a little bit of a delay happen, but at the same time, um, I'm firmly, firmly confident that you can um, put a tiny house on your property and we can make that happen. Um, feel free to give me a call. Take care, see you guys, bye-bye.